I might get a sword on my face, like a claymore, rock and roll. So I got the sword on my face. Swords are fucking awesome, and I've always been into them since a little kid, so I figured, you know, what better make my mom mad than a nice big claymore on my face. <laughs> I feel like the face tattoos make me interesting to look at, so where I might lack in, in handsomeness, I make up for in intrigue, at least. I think it looks dope. I think I look mean. Whenever I look in the mirror, I look at myself and it's not even like they're there. It's weird and then whenever I get drunk and look at it, it's like, um, whoa, I f have all these tattoos all over my face. The Stay Away is inspired by Peep's Crybaby tattoo. And it, I thought it was tough as I picked one of my favorite Nirvana songs and just put it on my face. I love playing blackjack. So I was in Montreal and I was like, let's get tattooed, and then um, I got a blackjack on my face for fun. It's usually like a two hour process of me saying, I wanna get a tattoo, and then coming around to figuring out what I want, and chugging some nice cold ones, and you know, getting after it. I have an accidental marshmallow tattoo, so I was gonna do a smiley face, but I was like, oh, okay, what if he had like, X's for his eyes. And then I looked in the mirror and it's in Marshmallow's helmet on my face. <laughs> Under my eyes it says always tired, cause I'm always tired. You know, always touring, always working, not taking care of myself the way that I need to. I figured it was just very fitting for how I felt, so. This was the only face tattoo that hurt. I mean, these didn't really hurt cause they're so fast, but this one took a while and it was like getting poked on your eyeball through your eyelid. That was the only one that hurt on my face though. What's up with the barbed wire and forehead? I don't know, I just think barbed wire is cool and it was a cool idea to do it as like a trim. I'm gonna regret it when I start balding. By then hopefully I can, I'll do the whole, the whole head. Maybe next time we do this I'll have my whole head tattooed. I definitely got a lot more since we spoke. I don't even remember what I had whenever I first came to y'all. I can't even keep track anymore. It's all just kind of been a blur. The Playboy Bunny was my first tattoo and I got that when recording Stoney and me and Justin were playing basketball and he f***ed it up. It looks like it's molten hot magma. This was my first hand tattoo. It's a saint. He's like lifting up his robe and there's like a skeleton coming out. And I just thought it looked bitching. He was on the Too Young cover too, the same guy. Does anybody know his name? Any good Christians in the house? <laughs> it's a cow skull. There's really nothing to it. I just think it would be f***ing cool. And then I do it, but people zoom in real close and they say it looks like an old man's butt. I don't see it. It's all about perspective. Kyle. I have a bunch of guys, Kyle, Ricky. I tattooed my friend Kyle the other day, a Philadelphia Eagles logo, and it turned out pretty good. It's like my eighth tattoo that I've done, and they've never been on that scale, but it turned out really, really good, I think. I tattooed my friend Bobby a bunch of times. I gave him a pizza. I just like tattooing my friends if they'll let me, and this newest work was my um, best work yet. I got Kurt, Peep, Bob, and just a bunch of other cool rock and roll type stuff. I have this nice Texas flag skull type deal. I got the Motorhead logo here. This is like a cool little Centurion type elbow. This is a cool ass demon samurai skull from Ganji from Japan. Um, this is also from Ganji. Uh, this is a guy getting his face ripped off. This is a Minute Man. This is Sauron from Lord of the Rings. He's the coolest character, have you seen him? He's huge and he has a cool ass mace. What else do you want from a villain, I guess? But this one has to be finished. A lot of these two I have to finish because I can't sit. I'm a weakling and it hurts real bad, so I just tap out and say we'll do it later, but um, I don't want to. <laughs> this is pretty cool, it's like uh, a guy on a horse 
stabbing a guy with a spear. This is me on a horse. I think we got a picture from a, from a game. My friend Kyle, he just put my face on it and my friend Ricky hooked me up and, and did it. I gotta add the face tattoos to my tattoo. And so it's like tattoo inception. And if I get a tattoo of my face on my face, then it could go on forever. Just tiny, tiny, tiny. What's on your bicep? Oh, this bicep? This one? <laughs> this says patient because we were shooting a music video for my song Patient. It never came out, but we wanted to get tattooed in the video, so we got this tattoo. That hurt like a mother surprisingly. I don't know why. This is uh, Gallinson's logo. This is praying hands with, uh, you can't see it, my shirt's too tight. He's holding a Glock. Here I have a big um, zombie Easter Jesus. Jesus is very handsome, so I figured, how could we make him super metal? And so we made him Easter Jesus. These are just drunk nights, and we're just like, it, let's get after it. On my stomach, I have a big um, come and take it, Spartan stuff, and Master Shake from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. That tattoo actually hurt a lot, and it's dumb because it's a milkshake, and it hurt the most. It's interesting to, you know, look back at the photos of whenever I had no tattoos, and it's just bizarre to see, like, it becomes such a part of you that you don't even notice, but whenever you notice, you're like, damn. I don't think I have any regrets, tattoo-wise. It's all a time and a moment. If you want to get something, don't let your friends stop you. You know, don't be too drunk in making the decision. I suppose that's what it would be. Advice for the first face tattoo is, um, yeah, get after it. <laughs>